come home. Hey, gorgeous. Ooh. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, big hug. Oh, I missed you so much today. Of course I did. I always miss you. But it's usually just background noise, you know? Usually I can compartmentalize, but today... Today I just wanted my little Tamagotchi. What? You're tiny. I have to feed you. Make sure you're looked after. And if I look away for long enough, you might die. And when I see you, it's usually on a screen. So how are you not a Tamagotchi? <laughs> hey, no, 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 no tickling, baby, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're not a Tamagotchi. I promise I'll never call you that again. Angel, come on. <laughs> oh, you fight dirty, sweetheart. Oh, wow. I just noticed your outfit. You look so damn good. As delicious as what I can smell. Is that dinner? So, since it's your turn to cook tonight, did you order pizza or Chinese? <laughs> what? Am I wrong? <gasps> Pulled pork quesadillas. Oh, sweet heavens. Hells and limbos. I love you so much. Mmm. I have the best baby bat in the universe. Come on, let's eat before they get cold. Mmm, mmm, so good. Mm. Work was so stressful. Not always in a bad way though. Well, you know. Some stress is good for you. It builds character. So then I must be the most rela- Hey! <laughs> so hurtful. I thought you loved me, but maybe I should take my pulled pork quesadilla and eat somewhere I'm more appreciated. <laughs> You're so rude. You're gonna send me to Neptune. Are you trying to tell me that I'm not appreciated here? So mean. Hey, I'm the insulted party here. Don't pull that face. Baby, I can't be mad at you when you give me that look. Lean over here. You are a menace. Now sit and eat. Ugh, no, let it ring. It's dinner time. It's, oh. Okay. Yeah. you okay they've been gone a while maybe I should put the food in the fridge and we can have it later why did their mom have to call right now that can't be good it never is with that woman Maybe I can just go check. Huh. 
honey. Is everything okay? Baby, can I come in, please? Oh no, baby, come here. Don't cry, sweetheart, please. I hate seeing you cry. What the fuck did she say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. She what? Baby. I am so sorry she said that to you. She shouldn't be pressuring you like that. You what? You went no contact? Sweetheart, I'm so fucking proud of you. Mm. Yes, I am. For years, I have seen that woman love you in such a two-pronged way, and it made me so angry. How can she smother you with affection one moment, and then the next be crying about the fact that you married me? You're not model thin. You never reached your potential, and you would have done so much good as a doctor, and it's not too late to go to med school. And you've told her to stop. I've heard you. You've told her in every way possible that you don't want to discuss this. You don't want to go to med school. You went through enough in your life that you just want to focus on enjoying it. And she just can't seem to understand that you're happy where you are. No, we're not gonna think that way. You had every right to be upset and frustrated with her. She wasn't listening to you. For all her talk about listening and trying to understand, she never seems to be able to do it with you. She needs a wake-up call, and I think you going no contact with her might be the only way she understands that if she doesn't start listening to you, she will lose you for good. I know you didn't want to, baby. Who wants to stop talking to someone they love? It hurts and it sucks and it's not okay. But sometimes you have to protect your peace more than protecting them from your feelings. That's an act of love too, sweetheart. Self-love. And you're worthy of being able to love yourself. How can you do that when someone like your mom keeps telling you to shove all those feelings down and just go along with what she wants? No, your reasons aren't stupid. I'm sure you'd be an amazing doctor. You always succeed when you put your mind to something. But it wouldn't be what you wanted, and you know it. You've told me your reasons, and it's a lot of studying. You don't have the energy or patience for it. There's so much jargon to learn and sleepless nights. You'd be doing it while you worked. You don't feel anything except frustration when you tried your hand at those courses you took just to test out going back to school and studying science. And no matter how much money you made, it wouldn't make you happy because you feel so much for other people. When you help others, you always give a piece of yourself to them because it makes you feel good to help them. But it also takes a lot of energy to do it. You wanted to be able to come home and have the energy to do fun things with me and our friends rather than just sleep and then wake up to do it all again. That kind of job can only be done well if you have the passion and the drive for it. And it's okay that you don't. Look at me. 
It's okay that you don't have the passion for that sort of career. You know that you did the right thing for yourself. You just wish you didn't have to hurt your mom's feelings in the process. That's understandable. But there was never going to be a scenario that made both of you happy. It was either going to be her or you. And this time, you chose you. You stood your ground with her. That was so brave of you. And I'm so proud of you, baby. I know that wasn't easy. Well, I'm not sorry that I won't hear any more stories about her commenting on your body for a while or that she's still pressuring you to do anything at all when you're in your 30s. But I'm not going to gloat. Your mom's not a bad person. She's complicated, like all people are. And she does love you. I've never doubted that. She doesn't know how else to parent, even though you're an adult and that's not your fault. And to some extent, it's not hers either. But she is the one acting this way, and she is the parent. She's supposed to be modeling better behavior for you, and she never did. All of this that you're doing is only a consequence for her poor behavior. It isn't your fault. Of course you can cry. Here. Let's just sit for a moment. Here. Lay your head in my lap and I'll run my fingers through your hair. Yeah, like that. Now, you cry if you need to cry. I'm right here. And I'm gonna stay here as long as you need me to. here, precious. It's okay. You feeling a little better? You can have as many hugs as you want, sweetheart. I love you, and I'm so proud of you. (laughs) Yes, I'll say it as many times as you need to hear it. I love you. I'm proud of you. You did the right thing. You were so brave. You deserve to protect your peace. And you're so damn hot. (laughs) Yes, I know that last one isn't really an affirmation, but it still bears repeating. You, my love, deserve to hear about how special you are all the time. Not about how you're failing some arbitrary subjective expectations someone else set for you. And not just about your appearance either. You are kind, empathetic, selfless, loving, sweet, sincere, and... You don't put up with anyone else's bullshit, least of all mine. Oh, she never counted. There's usually an exception for the person who raised you, but everyone needs boundaries, especially with the people we love. 
and who love us. If she takes the time to really think about her actions, she'll come around. Yes, she does love you. I won't deny it. But sometimes love isn't the only thing that matters, and that goes for platonic as well as romantic relationships. If there isn't respect, how can there be understanding? You did the right thing, baby. I promise. Now, can we please go and heat up the rest of our dinner? You need to finish your food and we can take our dessert to the TV with some wine and watch whatever you want. <sighs> yes, even Bridgerton. No, it's a fantastic show. You just watch it over and over and over. I think we can quote it word for word now. <laughs> yes, we can still watch it. Are you okay to eat? Okay. Why don't you go wash your face, change into something comfortable, and I'll handle the rest of the serving and dishes tonight. As much as I'm enjoying the ensemble, I think you will feel better in a sweatshirt and yoga pants. <laughs> Absolutely. Meet you there. Hmm? I love you too.